Hello, I'm Scott with ABSI Telecom, and I'm here to show you how to install the Panasonic TA824 programming software today. First, um, when you download the software, it'll be like uh, look like this, nice little zipped up folder. We're going to go ahead and click on it. You just go click on the uh, KXTA console. You get this like little Windows protect your PC thing that comes up. Uh, yeah, you gotta click that more anyways. Oh my goodness, I'll have to show you that again. So, when I clicked on this, you get this Windows Protect Your PC. Windows Protecting My PC for what? It, no. So you hit this More Information button here. Then you can run anyways. Huh, Windows wants to protect me even more, so hey, one more time, yes. Okay, now we run the application. We accept the licensing agreement. We tell it who we are and the company we're with. And we can hit next. Now the destination folder, that looks fine for me. Yeah, yeah, I can create a new folder. And all that stuff looks all right, so I'm gonna hit next. And it's installing the software. Now it's asking us for a programmer code. This is the password that you're going to have to use to open up the software. So um, type in your favorite password two times and make sure you remember what it is. And that completes the installation of the TDA maintenance console, right? <laughs> but the important thing is, is these USB drivers. Right, because you can't connect to the phone system without the USB driver and having it installed correctly. So um, this install that uh, is here comes with these USB drivers. I want to go ahead and copy them to the desktop because it's super easy for me to find them on the desktop. And there they are. Windows XP, Windows ME, Windows 2000, Windows 98, Windows 7. Oh, no Windows 10. That's because the Windows 7 drivers are good for Windows 7 and Windows 10 computers, both 32 and 64 bit. Okay. Now, how do we load that driver? Well, the first thing we want to do is probably pr plug in our TDA824 system into this computer using the USB cable and making sure the power is on on the uh, phone system. You know, I expect the phone system to be in running order that you've already initialized it and all that kind of good stuff. So um, what's probably happened is in, I'm going to go into the control panel. So here I'm going to type in control. And then I'm going to go into system right here. And then device manager. You know what, I'm going to go back because you know what I just realized? Your computer is not going to look like that. Yours is going to look like this. Right? Yeah. It's going to look like this. So the first thing that I do is go to Category, View By, and do this says Large Icons, right? Now that I've done it like Large Icons, now I can see this system down here. I can click on System, then come over here and Device Manager, and, um, you know, I don't have a phone system plugged in right now because I don't have one around to show you guys. So um, I'm going to expect that you do and that on yours you have like um, one of the devices that needs assistance probably has like a little exclamation point next to it. And it probably says like communications Panasonic Corporation or something like that. Um, find that de that device because we need to load a new driver on it. So um, I'm going to simulate this communication port 2 to be your Panasonic PBX. So right click on it, go to update driver. Here we're going to browse my computer for driver software. Here we're going to hit this browse button and we're going to find our desktop then Windows 7 and then 64-bit. 
Most computers are 64-bit these days, but if you need the 32-bit one, it, it's right there. All right, and then hit next. And then you, on your computer, if your phone system's plugged in, you should get a ding, 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 letting you know that the phone system is now a new uh, recognized device on your Windows computer. So we can close that. Now that we've got the software installed and the driver working, we should be able to click on Panasonic console here. And this is where we enter in that password from before. So enter in your favorite password that you had before. It should open. Now we can hit connect, connect again. All right, the system password. That's gonna be one, two, three, four by default. But if you've changed your password in your PBX to something else, this is where you would enter in that password. And we're going to connect with the USB cable. And press OK. Now, I get this error because my uh, phone system's not connected. But um, if your phone system's connected and you loaded the driver correctly, you should see the screen that looks like this. OK, and all the different settings and things you can change are on the left here. So um, hopefully you got this far. If not, watch the video again and start all over. Hope you're having a great day and uh, enjoy the video.